According to many world-renowned photographers, the depth of field technique is one of the best tools to create fantastic images or professional renderings. But be careful, as the correct use of this technique can make your rendering attractive. Improper use of this can also have a negative effect and ruin your rendering. Maybe many of you have experience using this technique in your work, but it is possible that you still do not have a correct understanding of how it works. So if you want to learn how to use it correctly, stay with us in this video. Hello, welcome to MimViz. Let's start with a few questions. What is depth of field? To understand better, let's look at this image. There is a narrow depth of field in this image that is completely sharp. We call this area the depth of field area. In fact, the depth of field or DOF is the distance between the nearest and the furthest objects that are in acceptably sharp focus in an image captured with a camera. But the focusing distance is the distance from the camera to the subject. But what is the importance of the DOF? With the help of the DOF, we can get control of the viewer's mind and take it to any place we want to take it to fall into our scenario and story. But the next question is, what parameters of the camera settings affect the DOF? The most important parameters affecting DOF are the aperture, focus distance, and focal length. To have a narrow depth of field, like the image above, the aperture size should be larger. This means that the F number must be smaller. For example, F number 1.4 to F number 5.6. Besides that, we must use telephoto lenses. This means that the number of focal length must be larger. For example, from 70 mm to 600 mm lenses. And finally, we must have short focal lengths to get a better result. This means that the distance between the camera and the main subject should be short. These are the standards for using the depth of field technique. Of course, if you want to have a large depth of field, like the image below, these rules are reversed. Now, let's go to the Vantage software. I activate the depth of field option. The scene may be blurred by activating it. I can change the number of focus distance to set my subject on the focus point range. But there is a better way, and that is using the pick focus point tool. Its hotkey is T. Now it is enough to click anywhere in the scene to specify the focus point. I chose my focus point. Now, to reach a narrow focal length, I just need to reduce the F number. But changing the F number will affect the lighting of the scene. And this will make it difficult for me. But don't worry. In the Vantage software, the aperture size parameter has been set. By using it, we can control the F number without affecting the light of the scene. This makes us get closer to the depth of the field we want very quickly and easily. But do not forget the standards that have been discussed. If you do not follow them, your render will be out of realistic mode. For example, I use a wide lens here to have all my space in the image. Now I specify my focus point. And I increase the number of aperture size to have a narrow depth of field. But let's see the result. 
this will expose you because you did not follow the focal length standard. And now it is clear that this is an unrealistic image because it cannot happen in the real world. So be professional, know the standards and follow them. In this way, you can create hyper-realistic images from your scenes. Do not forget to comment your opinion on depth of field for us. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to support us. Thank you very much for being with us. Until the next video, goodbye.